Hello, my name is Buddy Michelson, and I'm with Rocketman Parachutes. And here uh, we have our quarter scale Miss Riley rocket kit. Uh, this is a limited edition kit that Rocketman Enterprises offers on our website. It's $49.99 with shipping and tax. Uh, it's a really cool kit, fun uh, flying in the field or sitting on your desk. And so anyways, we're going to show you uh, the unboxing of the kit and also how to build one. And so it includes a certificate uh, with the kit. It's signed by Homer Hickam and Kai Michelson. Next we have a beautiful red, white, and blue Rocketman parachute. And there's actually a spill hole on the top. It's a very cool looking parachute. It's four line parachute. And so it's very stable when it's coming down and cool looking. And so that's a parachute that's included with the kit. Next we have a 18 inch long 24 mil millimeter minimum diameter uh, tube here. And so you can fly this on D and E motors, or you can also get the adapter that we offer on our website and fly this kit on uh, 18 millimeter motors. And so this is an 18 millimeter to 24 millimeter adapter that goes in the rocket. And so you can fly this on A, B, and C motors as well. And so here's the fin cam that comes with. It's 3D printed. And there's also a launch rail guide here that's already printed right into the fin cam, which is really nice. Next, we have a 3D printed red nose cone that comes with the kit. Uh, we also include the Miss Riley decal that goes on the side. Uh, here's the engine block uh, that will get glued inside. And then lastly, we have a five foot piece of 200 pound uh, braided uh, Kevlar that's included for the shock cord. And so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and assemble this kit. I usually use a five minute epoxy that's the quickest and easiest and strongest way. And so we're just gonna mix a little bit of this up in the, in the cup here. And you won't be needing much at all. This uh, kit requires very little epoxy. And so this is a two part epoxy, so just a little bit of each here and then mix her up. And so we're gonna be starting with the fin can onto the body tube here. It's a super easy and fun kit to build. Uh, it's uh, just like that was in the movie October Sky, which was a very inspiring movie. I think it inspired a lot of people to get into rocketry. So we'll mix the glue here. So you're gonna take the fin can, put the glue on the inside, and just make sure it's all the way around. And there we go. And then we're gonna take the body tube, doesn't matter, uh, each side is the same. We're gonna put the body tube in here. Make sure you're spinning the body tube as it's going in, just so it's, uh, uh, the glue's getting all the way around in the grooves making sure there's no glue that's coming out the end. And we're gonna make this flush. And so the motor tube won't be sticking out all, it'll be perfectly flush. Now we're going to be letting this dry. And next we're gonna be working on attaching the shock cord. And so we'll take the engine block here, one side of the shock cord, and we're gonna be sticking it through the hole of the engine block. So once it's through, you're just going to be simply knotting it and we're going to make sure we want a really good knot on this so it can't uh, come out. There we go. Tie a good knot, making sure it's super solid. You can always double knot it. And I always like to place uh, just a little bit of glue here so it can't come out using the same glue that we use for the fin can here. Just a tiny little bit. And there we go. And then we're going to be taking the nose cone. And for this, you're going to be wanting a little piece of wire. Uh, and this helps pull the... Uh, shock cord through and so you'll just be looping one side of the wire you can use a paper clip or whatever and then we're going to be lightly tying the opposite side of the shock cord and this helps pull the the shock cord through and this is probably the hardest part of building the kit just because it's kind of hard to get in there and loop it back out and so we're going to be taking that shock cord uh 
going through one side here, pushing it down, taking this on the other side here. We're going to try to hook it here and pull it back up. So there we go. Got pulled out, out the opposite end here. As you can see, we're going to be undoing that knot that we just made. And then now we're going to be tying uh, this directly here. And also making sure we have a really good solid knot on this. I can't slip out. There we go. Good solid knot. And you can all, always uh, still use a little bit of that glue if it's still uh, if it's uh, not dried yet. Use just a tab part of that glue on there and that knot, making sure it's solid. And then now we'll be uh, taking the main parachute here and uh, tying a knot right here, probably about eight inches down, I would say, maybe six inches down from the nose cone. Tying a knot uh, through here. And so this makes sure that the parachute cannot slide up and down the shock cord, making sure it's good and strong. And then we will be taking the engine block and sliding it down the tube. And so usually I use a wood doll to help me and you'll be needing a marker and then you'll also be needing the engine that you're going to use for proper spacing. And so we'll take this engine block, uh, insert it all the way down as far as uh, and just inserting it, the wood then pushing the engine into the other side. And you'll probably want about an eighth inch here you want to stick it out a little bit, that that way you can uh, grab it and pull it out. Uh, we'll pull the doll out here, pull the engine out, and then you'll want to be taking a marker and marking it all the way around, so that way you know where to put the glue at. And then pushing that motor block about an inch forward with the marker. That way uh, you can then place glue there between that marker and the engine block. And so we'll be adding just a tad bit more glue in there and this will be holding the engine block so the uh, motor can't go through the top of the rocket and there we go we'll be taking the stir stick grabbing the stir stick mixing it up here taking this glue and you're not going to be wanting you don't want too much glue at all you want to make sure that you can't drop it into where the motor is going to be at so don't use much glue at all here gotta be super careful when applying glue and smearing it all the way around There we go. Then you're going to be wanting to take uh, the motor again, pushing it into there about eighth inch. This is going to be your final set. Take your doll and uh, move it all the way to the engine here. And so you can see that we're pushing the engine out. So that means that it's sat right up against there. I see that's perfect right there. And then we'll be sliding the engine out and uh, wait for that to dry. And so now it's in there. It looks good. Uh, the fin can is on. And lastly, we're going to be gluing the decals on here. Or uh, attaching the decals. When you're undoing this backing here, you want to be super careful. Uh, ask you not rip any of the letters. So you want to go really slow when pulling it back. Making sure it sticks. There we go. And as far as applying it goes, you're going to want this rail guide on the back. And then the decal will go parallel with this fin on the top. And so I always apply it about two inches from each side. And it looks straight up and down. 
and so I can see uh, make sure that it's straight that looks straight to me in the middle and then we're going to be uh, applying pressure all the way around making sure it's on there good and there we go It's good, and then as far as uh, taking this off, you're going to be uh, pulling this back, straight back here, being really careful with that. And there we go, the decal is on. And then lastly, we're going to be packing the parachute in here, and then she's ready to go here. And so as far as packing the parachute goes, you'll just be using the SD's regular uh, flame protector that comes with the motors. You'll be stuffing a little bit down there, and then you'll be wrapping this parachute uh, and the shock cord back and forth here. You'll never want to wrap the wrap the cord around the lines that could hold the parachute closed and that's never good. And so you'll just want to wrap the parachute back and forth here, making sure not to wrap around. And uh, once again, you'll be putting that flame protector down there and then stuffing this on top here. Stuffing in, making sure it's a good loose fit. Stuffing it down there and stuffing the shock cord here. And anyways, this is uh, the quarter scale Miss Riley rocket kit that we offer on the Rocket Man website. Uh, that includes a certificate with it. This is a limited edition kit. It's a really neat and easy kit to put together and a really high flyer, which is great. And there we go. There's a beautiful kit. It's ready to paint. Uh, no paint required. Uh, it's ready to go. Red, white, and blue. It's beautiful with matching Rocket Man parachutes. And anyways, this is ready to go here. All we need to do is put the Put the engine in and then uh, send her up there so she's ready to go.